Rose. Rose is HIV positive and a champion for AIDS awareness in her community. Encouraging and educating others stricken with the virus has become her daily passion, but it hasn't always been this way. The news of an HIV positive status is often received as a death sentence. When Rose received her diagnosis, like many, she lost hope. Some of her closest family members had already died, and she was sure she'd be next. <laughs> Not long after, Rose received an encouraging visit from Eunice, who brought with her a hospice bucket, lovingly packed an ocean away by people neither of them had ever met. Rose had never known such love and hope at the same time. Encouraged and helped by the contents, Rose knew what she wanted to do with the rest of her life, share this same love with others who needed to know that they too could live well and with the knowledge of hope despite their diagnosis. Community leader and home health care worker James met Rose when they both attended an AIDS awareness training at a local teacher's college. James quickly realized that Rose's passionate ability to be honest about her HIV status was just what was needed to effectively minister to those being diagnosed within their community. I brought uh, Rose to the project to encourage the HIV post people that this is not the end of this life. He can stay with AIDS for long. Armed with the healing message of hope and the contents and care of a hospice bucket, James, Rose and Eunice have been ministering to those struggling with the diagnosis of HIV AIDS within their community and the surrounding towns where there are so few resources to help. The bucket have support very much our ministry. It's a very good thing because the people think that we are reaching the poor people because actually that people who are positive, they are poor people, they are forgotten people. So when we reach to help them to give the packets and talk to them, we pray for him, then we give the packet. So it is helping our ministry very much. From our hands to theirs, hospice buckets are helping partners like Rose, James and Eunice reach into the homes of the sick and dying where few others in their community are willing to go. The work is often hard and heartbreaking, but so rewarding as those who receive a bucket are encouraged by the tangible expressions of love and hope they experience and often find the peace they dearly need. It's a peace that Rose now knows well and one she's very willing to share in order to help change a life like hers, one bucket at a time. <laughs> Yeah, Baptist. I thank Baptist Church.